Hey, hey everybody, welcome to Game Time. My name is JJ, and today I'm just going to make a cool little episode for this classic game collecting 101, and we're going to go through some PS1 games that are notable for the PS1 in my collection, and we're going to talk about some games real quickly here. So, uh, PS1 is where I went other than the N64 back in the day. Um, there was a bunch of RPGs for the PS1 that I loved so much that I pretty much never played the N64 during the time the N64 was out. Like I did play the odd games at my buddy's house, Mario Party, Star Fox, you know, all the staples were played just not at my house. My house was a PlayStation house. So I've got about I don't know, close to 150, 200 PS1 games in my collection. A lot of them are really, really good. A lot of them are fillers as well. So it's just the way most systems go once you get to this point in, in your collection. So you're looking for the oddball good one that you played and you do end up with some fillers, you know? So let's, uh, we'll start down here and we'll, we'll grab a few, we'll, we'll work our way across some of these rows and I'll pull out some games and we'll talk about it. If you see anything in this video that you want me to talk about in the future, don't hesitate to leave a comment and uh, I'll get to it later. Maybe I'll do a PS1 game part two because there is a lot here to cover when it comes to that stuff. There's a lot of great RPGs. I'm gonna try not to focus on just the RPGs because there are awesome ones, <laughs> but I am going to point out some that you should probably look out for. Um, and I'm going to point out some crappy games, I guess, at, at the same time. So let's start with Alundra 2. It is a good series. The original is really, really good. I have it in here, but it is not the best sequel. Games like Sega Frontier was always a fantastic play when uh, back in the day when I played them. The original Sukoden was phenomenal as well. I shouldn't be going through every single one as I go, but there are some other ones. The original Parasite Eve, when that came out, it was phenomenal. I love the storyline. I love the graphics. I love the creatures. I love the full motion video at the time. It was a very well-made game. I say pick this one up and uh, experience the the original. It's it's phenomenal. You should, you know, so um, what else do we got here? We've got our, our staples, right? We've got our Final Fantasies, our Final Fantasy VIII, uh, they're not necessarily in full order here because I do play them and they do come and go. Games like Legend of Mana are must-have for your RPG collection. This is probably one of my favorite of the series. Um, phenomenal. The artwork is just super super great uh what else do we got here we got gauntlet gauntlet <laughs> legends was actually one of the few good ones for the ps1 fantastic little play uh harvest moon this is probably my favorite harvest moon game of all time for the ps1 like this is the one i played the most it took me a while to find it thank you terry for hooking me up but it is an awesome awesome game um this one and the one for n64 really really hard to find so if you see them pick them up this one is, is king, though, to me. It's phenomenal. Um, I know there's a lot of RPGs, but I do collect a lot of RPGs. Now, don't tell me you never played this bad boy, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Gotta have it in your collection. Many days off the school bus in high school going to play this game at a buddy's house. You've never seen so many people in one room playing one game of one demo that came out. This game is phenomenal. Check this out. <laughs> they, 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 there's no wonder they remake a lot of the levels of that game. That game changed a lot of how Tony Hawk, you know, it was, it was phenomenal. Everybody's played Legend of Dragoon. Phenomenal game. If you haven't, you're missing out on a great storyline, a great battle system. Uh, what else we got way over here? Uh, we've got Dragon Valor. See, this one's actually not even open yet. I picked it up for a good deal online. So, But uh, Dragon Valor... Good old Namco, eh? It's finding RPGs at a good price more than anything, right? So, um, the original Metal Gear Solid. It's not a black label, unfortunately, but it's still really, really awesome. Gives me something to look forward to replacing down the line. But this, uh, this introduced a lot to the stealth genre. So let's move up here. We've got Dragon Warrior 7. Phenomenal game as well. Good RPG. You wouldn't be missing out. Long as hell. Long as hell. And if you leave the game... If you leave this game for too long and you come back to it, you will not remember where you need to go. I'll tell you that right now. Now, this one's a little bit of an obscure one. Um, some people don't, wouldn't even know this is out. Azure Dream is a phenomenal 
almost like a little Pokemon taking a tower. So you collect these creatures that you can raise and grow and whatever, and you got to make it to the top of the tower. And it's there's a lot of frustration in this game. It is a hard game because when you die, you lose stuff. So pick it up if you ever see it. It's really hard to find right now. It's very obscure. Not a lot of people know about Azure Dreams. Uh, what else we got over here? Of course, we've got one of my favorite Crash Bandicoot games of all times, Crash Bandicoot. Kutu, Wrath of Cortex, with the little hologram cover. One of my favorite Crash Bandicoot games. I'm a huge Jack and Daxter fan. Um, I like Ratchet and Clank, but I, you know, I didn't really get into it. Uh, one of the most horrible games on the PlayStation One. Stay away from this. This is this is like the devil. This is the most horrible game you'll ever play. Don't even bother. It's not worth the fucking plastic that it's in. I'll tell you that right now. Bubsy 3D. Why did I waste? 20 seconds talking about it because it's that bad um crime killer was kind of another little offshoot game that you wouldn't think would be good but it's actually not too bad of a little little racing game it's you get these different cre uh, different creatures different vehicles and it's actually pretty good it runs fast it's uh excellent excellent little little game uh what else do we got here we've got tiny tank Come on, you got to remember Tiny Tank. Tiny Tank was awesome. What else we got? Of course, we've got the Lunar Sets, Silver Star Story Complete, and Eternal Blue. Now, a little bit of thumb action in the camera, sorry. Uh, Lunar and Lunar 2. Now, these sets are hard to find right now. Um, mine are pretty much complete. I'm only missing the little pendant from that one, but I do have the cloth maps and everything that I got included with all of them. Uh, these boxes take a beating you, as you might have noticed it is really difficult to keep these boxes in good shape it's not that i don't know i don't i think it's just the kind of cardboard they use because of uh this one's actually not too bad but this one came out a lot later than silver star story complete that's about 1999 area that uh, that came out and then that came out afterwards but excellent little collections to have um if you want, I'll do a more in-depth RPG episode if you really want to, but make sure you slap it in the comments so I know. Uh, we got the original, the Final Fantasy Anthologies, uh, Origins, Chronicles. All those are wonderful uh, ports for the PlayStation, for your Final Fantasy, your Chrono Trigger and all that. But they load horribly. I hate the load time in them. I'd rather play my GBA versions. You know, they're a lot better. Now, here's the original Alundra. If you like Legend of Zelda type games, um, which there aren't very many for the original PlayStation that pick up Alundra, it is uh, really well done. And uh, you pretty much uh, are a little dude, sword, you collect heart piece type stuff. Uh, yeah, it's actually, it's really, really, really good. Uh, Pirate RPG, Shadow Madness. Uh, I actually haven't played this one a whole, whole lot. I picked it up because it's a little bit of a one of those weird RPGs, but it's about pirates. So, yeah. Let me know if I should be playing that one real soon. Ah, what else we got down the line over here? We got a few. Uh, the Breath of Fires are always good to have. Breath of Fire 3, Breath of Fire 4. Um, I prefer Breath of Fire 4 when it comes to gameplay, but I like the story and the concept of a lot of the stuff in Breath of Fire 3. Breath of Fire 3 had the dragon morphing and everything. It was awesome. Um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, probably my favorite game of all time. You should have this in your collection. Go get it now. Uh, yeah, another one that you should probably have for your PS1 is the original Diablo. Is a very awesome two-player, you know, simultaneous co-op game for your PS1. The amount of times me and my buddies played this game and pretty much hack and slashed all night long yeah man Diablo for PS1 was actually a very good port just go into the menu into the options and set your speed to super fast trust me it'll help and we'll go up to the top there's a nice little double layer up here um, we've got we'll go we got Mega Man X5 which is a really great game we need to make some space in here let's do this and do this so that way we have a little bit of a gap there at least so we got Mega Man X5 great game uh, I don't like the Mega Man X's for the original PlayStation as much as I like the Super Nintendo ones uh, so don't get me wrong they're good but um, so we're falling into where there's more, a lot of little fillers cool borders to the original Crash Bandicoot we've got Star Wars Episode 1 Fear Effect isn't too bad it's just a pain in the ass to play it's a fun concept but yeah it's a super bust to move pandemonium you know some of them are little cult obscure games 
that you wouldn't even think about, right? So uh, Tekken, Tekken is always good to have. Dino Crisis, the original, is always a fun one. Dino Crisis 2 and 3 I didn't like as much, but it is what it is, right? You gotta have your Resident Evil games. Probably my favorite one right here, Resident Evil 2. What else we got? SpongeBob! We got SpongeBob. I don't play it. I'll tell you that right now. Whoa. Fifth Element. Roll Cage is one of the very few racing games for the original PlayStation that I'll actually play. It is a really good one. Um, this game actually got a Kickstarter done and it failed it, but they are still making it. So um, another really hard to find RPG here, Mega Man Legends 2. Um, this will cost you a pretty penny online right now. It is actually a really good game, man. You know, if you actually get a chance to play it, it's actually not too bad. It's fun seeing Mega Man in that kind of, you know, game, right? Crash Team Racing is always good to have, you know. So there's, there's PS One had just had so much good variety, you know. Uh, Spyro the Dragon, ah, we got Spyro, you know. Like even no, there was no Jack and Daxter back then, you know. Games like Medieval. I always liked Medieval, you know, they, it's too bad that this would be something that I would like them to remake eventually, you know. So, what else we got up here? We've got Oddworld, you know, back in the day of when Oddworld had first come out. These games are hard too, man. Like, it's insane. So, Driver, let's move this little stack over and we'll finish it off with a couple other games here. We've got our Final Fantasy Origins over here. We've got our Gran Turismo, we've got Martian Gothic, which is just one of the later games that came out. It's not that great, you know. Soul Divide, Nightmare Creatures was always good. The original, you know, Alien Trilogy, early PS1 games right there, man. And, you know, let's let's finish it off with, you know, Mega Man X4, which was one of the... F one of the better ones, in my opinion, for the original PlayStation. The transition was actually not too bad from X3 to X4, you know. But it, those last bosses are tough, man. Loud they're tough. And, you know, let's finish off this one with the original Silent Hill for the PS1. Now, the amount of hours I've spent playing this damn game, oh my god, it's not even funny. Um, that little cat that jumps out of the locker, that was the first time that I jumped over that light, that that such a tiny little little thing in a game man but the atmosphere was great i loved it and i still play it to this very day you know get the ufo ending and your alien blaster wow so yeah um there's lots to for ps1 i can go on for a lot longer but i just wanted to make an episode on how i really really love my ps1 games and there's a lot of them in there that i still play a lot to this day uh, a lot of people don't know even now that your ps3 will play ps1 games so if you, you're watching this right now and you don't know that go buy some ps1 games they're cheap you know mostly you know when if you're not buying rpgs of course and uh Pop them in your PS3 and you'll be surprised you'll be able to play. So peace out, happy gaming, and we'll catch you next time. Watch out!